Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know, we have started with the topic finite differences. And under this topic, we have two learning videos. The very first one that we have is the introduction of finite differences. Second one comprises of operators and their relationship between. Here in this learning video, we are going to take problems or examples on finite differences. So, without wasting time, let us start with the examples on finite differences. So, before we start with the example, let us first of all see what is the working rule to solve the problems so the very first rule says you have to name the missing term. Suppose a data like this is given to you and here as you can see this is the missing term. So I can name this missing term as y1. If suppose we have some data and suppose two missing terms are there. So I will name first one as y1 and second one as y2. Okay. Now this completes the first step. Now second step says make the difference table. So, whether the problem is on differ forward difference or backward difference, according to that, we will make a difference table. And once we make the difference table, we will do the calculations. And after doing the calculations, we will end up with some equation, some expression to be precise. And then that expression, we will equate it to zero. Okay. And when it becomes an equation, we solve that equation to get the missing term. One remark I would like to make, if a problem is of one missing term, then there would be one expression that we would be getting. And when you have a data where two terms are missing, then we would be getting two expression or two equations to solve. Because two equations, two unknowns is an ideal condition, right? So, let us start with this first example. The very first example says, find the missing term for the given data. So, we are given a data, right? And we have to find out the missing term. So, how many missing terms we have to find out? Just a single one. So, what I should do? I would name the missing term as y1. So, I will name it as, say, y1. And my objective is to find out the value of this y1. Okay, so we have already named this missing term as y1. Now let us make the difference table. So in the difference table, there would be a column comprises of the values of x and y. So in the values of x, I would be having 0. Then the next term is 1, then 2, then 3, and the last term is 4. Okay, now moving ahead. Now you have to put the values of y. For 0 we have 1. For 1 we have value 3. For 2 we have to find out this value. But we have already named it as y1. So I will write it as y1. Then we have 31. And at last I have the value 81. Okay. Now let's find out the differences. So what would be delta y? What would be delta y? Take the difference. Difference of these two. So what is the difference of 1 and 3? That's 2. Always take the positive difference. Difference is always positive. Okay. Now difference of y1 and 3. That's y1 minus 3. Then difference of this 31 and y is 31 minus y1. And at last... Difference of this 81 and 31 is 50. Is it okay up to this? Now let's move ahead to find out del 2y. So what would be del 2y? Del 2y is now you take the differences. So difference of these two is y1 minus 3 minus 2 that's minus 5. Then what would be difference of this? Difference of this is 31, 31 minus y1 minus y1 that is minus 2y1, 
31 minus of minus plus. So that is 34. Is it? Now take a difference of these two. So difference of these two is 50 minus 31 is 90 minus minus plus y1. Okay. So have we get one expression? No. Still we need to find out del 3 of y. So what is del 3 of y? Now take the difference of these two. So what is the difference of these two? The difference is minus 2y1 minus y1 that is minus 3y1. 34 plus 5 that's 39. And then you take a difference of these two. So what would be the difference? 19 plus y1. This minus minus become plus. So this is what? 3y1. y1 and 2y1 is 3y1. 19 minus 34. That's, that's 15. Is it? Now have you got one expression? No. Again you have to find out a difference. That's del 4y. So what is the difference of this 3y1 minus minus plus? So this is 6y1. Now here it is minus 15 minus 39. That's become minus 54. Okay. Now to make to find out the further difference, I need two terms. So no further difference is possible. So next difference would be 0. Okay. So now we got this. Now what you can do is, you can equate this to 0. 6y1 minus 54 is equal to 0. Because further difference is not possible. Now you take this term to here. So this would be 6y1 is equal to 54. This implies y1 is equal to 9. So in this way we have found out the missing term y1 is equal to 9. So this is my answer. Easy? Okay. Now just like this problem, I am going to take one more problem where two terms are missing. So here we have taken only one term missing problem. The very next problem that we are taking just now would be our second missing problem. So here we have the second problem that is example number 2 which says find the missing terms for the given data. So here you can see that now in this problem, how many terms are missing? There are two terms which is missing. This one and this one. Okay. So what is the first step of the working rule? The first step of the working rule says, name the missing term. So the first term I will name it as y1 and the second I will name it as y2. Now let's do the, make the difference table and do the tabular calculations. So what we have? We have 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. Okay. And corresponding values of y is 3. Then we don't have any value that we have assumed to be y1. Then we have 2. And then again a missing term y2. And then minus 2.4. Write down the values very precisely because sometimes you may miss out these terms. Okay. So this is minus 2.4. Now take the differences. The so difference of these two is y1 minus 3. Difference of this two is 2 minus y1. Then difference of this is y2 minus 2. Are you all getting it? Next difference of this so minus, minus 2.4 minus y2. Okay, now go on taking the differences. So what it should be difference of this and this. So 2 minus y1 minus of y1 minus minus plus. So this would be minus 2y1 plus 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now take the difference of this. So this is y2 
plus y1 minus 2 minus 2 that's minus 4. We'll take difference of this. So this is y2 minus y2 minus y2 minus 2 y2 minus 2.4 plus 2 that's minus 0.4. Is it? Now if you are not uh, able to write this, you can do the calculation like this. Minus 2.4 minus y2 minus y2 minus 2. So if you do like this, you will get it easily. So this is like multiplied by minus sign. So this become minus, this become plus. So this is minus 2y2 minus 2.4 plus 2. That's minus 0.4. Okay. Now let's move on to take the next differences. What are these differences? This. Minus, okay, this and this. So, this is y2, I am writing. y1 plus 2y1, that's 3y1. And then we have minus 4, minus 5, that's minus 9. Now, take difference of this 2. Difference of this 2 is, what is it? Minus 2y2, minus y2, that's minus 3y2, minus y1. Then minus 4, minus 0 0.4 plus 4, that's plus 3.6. Now, as you know that in the very beginning of this lecture, I have said, if you have two missing terms, you need two equations to solve. Okay, so no need to do further calculations. You can take this expression and this expression, you can equate it to 0. So, what you would be getting, so... Here we get uh, this to be, first one is 3y1 plus y2 minus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, and the second one is minus 3y2 minus y1 plus 3.6 equal to 0. Let us rewrite this equation nicely. That is... 3y1 plus y2 is equal to 9 and this is y1 plus 3y2 is equal to 3.6. Say this is to be equation 1, this is to be equation 2. Now these are two equations, two unknowns, ideal condition. You can make use of calculator to find out the Solution of these two simultaneous equations, you can also do the manual calculations also. But to save time, I would recommend you to use the calculator to find out this. So now I am writing on solving on solving equations 1 and 2, we get, so what I would be getting? I would be getting the value of y1 to be 2.925 and the value of y2 to be 0 0.225. 0 0.225. Yes. So, what are the missing terms that we got? We got the value of this to be 2.925. And value of this to be 0 0.225. This video lecture we have taken two problems on finite differences. In the very next learning video we will take example on backward differences. So this is what we have in this learning video. If you have any doubt or any queries you can write on the comment section. And thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.